that was way off. Got it. Got it. If you're a human being living on planet Earth over the past year, you've probably realized there isn't a whole lot of nerf wars going on. Even right now, we're just starting to get to the point where some events are starting to pop back up and open up and people are playing, and others are still trying to make the right call on if it's a good idea to get a whole bunch of people together where there's a highly infectious disease being spread around. Which side are you on? I don't really care, because at the moment, I'm just trying to figure out a way to nerf safely within the confines of my own garage. And of course, I want to make sure that I come out of this global pandemic with faster reflexes and better accuracy than ever before. And a couple of months ago, I found a way to do exactly that. This is the Gunpower SMT. It is a very expensive, interactive, electronic target that is marketed mainly towards airsoft users. However, the system is 100% compatible with foam darts, foam balls, or pretty much almost any projectile. It's rated for a 0.25 gram airsoft BB to hit it at up to 400 FPS. Now I do have blasters that will fire a much larger and heavier foam dart at the screen at that exact velocity, but that's obviously a much heavier foam dart that impacts a lot more more force. That being said, foam dart is actually not rigid like an airsoft BB, so I'm not actually going to test this thing with some 400 FPS monster, even though I'm assuming it can survive that. But today I'm going to put the target through its paces with this. This is the Legacy First Edition Blaster by Armatus Designs, whom you might actually know as the legendary UN13, one of the oldest nerf YouTubers spanning back over 13 years. He was out of the game for a little while, but he came back to an ecosystem that was completely different than the one he saw back in his day. And the Legacy is his own 3D printed blaster design to kind of help sharpen his 3D designing skills. It is a top prime Talon mag fed short dart shooting only pistol powered by a variety of springs, this one having a section of K25 in it. However, being 3D printed, it is modular. In fact, I have another one here that is Walcom S7 branded, which is pump action. Of course, something that I really like. And he even has a stock in development for it. You will find a link to this limited first edition blaster down in the description below at Armadus' website. There are 20 units total, 10 orange and 10 blue, available, but if you want, the 3D printed files are also there for purchase if you have your own printer and want to procure your own hardware. This thing hits anywhere from about 140 to usually around 160, 170 FPS, which will be a good test for our target. And it also doesn't have any kind of place for me to put an optic on it. It's very old school NIC level technology, so I'll be having to use the integrated iron sights at a distance of about 11 feet to see how well I can do, and this will be the first blaster that I officially put through the paces on this target. However, this will set the baseline for every blaster after it. And this means in the future, I can objectively compare every single blaster with this target and this baseline. The setup will always be the same. The distance will always be the same. The only thing that's gonna change is the blaster and what ammunition might be fired at the target. I mean, I don't know about you, but I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, that means in the future, I can test every single blaster that Nerf, Busby, Dart Zone, whatever releases or other 3D printed designs against the Legacies legacy. And I'd really like for you to let me know down in the comment section if you think this is a good idea. This is my test run for this target, and I paid a lot of money for it. It was not sent to me. The blaster was sent to me by Armadas for the purposes of doing this video, but I paid full price for that target, and it's like $550 plus a lot in shipping. Now, obviously, that's not an accessible or even worthwhile purchase for most of you, but that's one of the benefits of being a content creator. I can rationalize buying something like this because my entire life basically revolves around it. And if that makes my content just a little bit better, Better, then it's all worth it for us in the end. And this was obviously a very expensive target that I would like to recoup a little bit of the money on. So if you could please just hit that like button for me, maybe consider hitting subscribe if you aren't already for more videos featuring not only this, but all Nerf content in the future delivered directly into your subscription feed. You can even hit that little bell so you make sure you never miss anything. And with that long buildup, let's get to some shooting. All right, this is gonna put us through a shooting course. I have a couple of mags, hopefully I can get through it. With the amount of darts I have, it'll give us a score at the end. I'm curious to see how it happens, so... 
that was way off. Got it. Got it. Oop. Ah. There we go. Oh, that was way off, and I think I just double fed. Yep. Got it. Actually, not doing half bad, in my opinion. Okay, well, I spoke too soon. Come on. You can do it. Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right, my arms are starting to get tired. A lot more difficult than just pulling a trigger. Ah. That mag's empty. Got a couple of darts left in this one. So I see the problem with this. As I get tired from priming back this spring, my accuracy becomes far less consistent. I'm so close every single time. That's a great grouping. There we go. All right. I've only got like one mag left now. <sighs> There's only three targets on this stage. Oh, wow, that was way off. Ah. That's my trigger finger. It's not even like a heavy trigger. It's just, I don't think it's ever meant to be fired this much, this quickly. Pretty sure I'm out of ammo at this point. Yep. Oh. <sighs> Try it again. Oh my god. You know what? This was the wrong set of targets. <laughs> oh, come on. That. There we go. Yeah. Yes. So close. Oh, there's another target. Oh, no. I hope this is the last one. <sighs> Time to reload. <sighs> Come on. Almost there. Yes. <sighs> Woohoo! Two in a row. Almost three in a row. Oh, thank God. Ah. Uh. <sighs> well, 119 total shots. I'm gonna ignore the time. I will probably factor that in later, but I started with two mags essentially, had to reload every single time, so that's a bit bad. 20 hit, 99 miss. <sighs> you know, considering I'm trying to hit small targets with nerf darts that were 
very quickly worn after a little while. That's not too bad. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the results. All right, I've had a little bit of a break. It's the next day. I'm actually gonna attempt this course with the Pump Action Legacy to see if this is any better at all. Maybe I can do this in far fewer, less shots. So we'll see. If it's just really close, I'm not gonna really care. But if it's astoundingly different, either I got significantly better or this is much easier to aim with. So here we go. Off to a great start. There we go. Used an entire mag to hit three targets. Two mags down. I'm really good at outlining my target. There we go. Oh. Huh. You know what? That's practically about the same. The score is higher because the time was quicker but that's not fair because I actually just took one mag and pretty much reloaded it the entire time on the first target. So the time doesn't matter, but the shots hit and shot missed are within three of each other. So that is, I would say almost repeatable results for something that doesn't have any kind of real sight except for some iron sights on it, which uh, I mean, those are kind of an afterthought anyway. It's not bad. I'm, I'm really impressed with the target and the Legacy, it's a fun little blaster. So if you're looking at the Legacy and you're thinking to yourself, why would I buy something like this when I can just go to my local Walmart and pick up one of those beautiful Dart Zone Aeon Pros for $25, that is essentially the same thing as this, and then buy one of those in a 3D printed pump action kit for it to turn it into basically one of these. And the answer I have for you is you probably wouldn't. This blaster isn't made for you. It doesn't really do anything particularly different than a system like that. That isn't exactly the point. It's something that's different. Not every single blaster that functions the same way and hits the same performance marks is gonna be the exact answer for every single person. If you wanted something that looks and functions like this, or you wanted a 3D printed Aeon Pro, the Legacy is your answer. Plus your Aeon Pro wasn't exactly built by an absolute legend in the hobby and had been caressed by his soft, beautiful hands. The print quality is absolutely solid. These things feel hefty. They are not light. They feel like they're extremely high infill. And when made out of PETG, these things would last sitting in your car for a couple of hours as opposed to PLA. So they're a bit more resistant to heat damage. And besides some minor surface defects on each of the ones I have in various places that don't really detract from the blaster, they're pretty good. I like the mag release personally, although I think the pump action version, of course, is a far better blaster in my opinion. One of the better things I feel about on the Legacy is the fact that the hardware kit from my observations doesn't seem to be anything particularly hard to source. Most of this stuff feels like something you could pick up at your local hardware store. The barrels are sourceable on Amazon, I believe, as are the plunger tube materials and of course the springs. They are comfortable to use, look cool in my opinion, and the performance is there. So if this is something you're looking for, I'll have a link again down to Armadas' website below where you can pick one up of the limited edition variants before they sell out. As for the Gunpower SMT, this is some of the most most fun I have ever had with a Nerf Blaster. Now that I've ran it through its paces, I am firmly convinced that this thing is awesome. You could hook multiple of them up together, and they do sell far more expensive models that are far bigger. But really, in my testing, it works flawlessly with foam darts, and I absolutely love that. It has training, it has zeroing, it has standard targets, and it even has games that you can play both one and two player, and you'll get an immense amount of fun out of it if nerf is what your entire life revolves around or if you have airsoft
soft, you can double dip. But it is monstrously expensive and not for everybody. That being said, I'm legitimately asking you here to let me know down in the comments section if you think this is something that I should use more of in my future videos. I feel like being able to objectively compare a bunch of different blasters all under the same conditions is something that would be really useful to this community. However, I'm not blind to the fact that this is still full of human error. However, for my two tests so far, it seems pretty repeatable. Again, links to everything, including the Gunpower SMT, will be found down in the description below. And while you're down there, hey, do me a favor, hit that like button and consider hitting subscribe for more content like this. I'm Walcom S7. Thank you again for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You gotta up, up, side.